split it up to several different layers. We have uh, our air cushions surrounded by some L panels. There's about one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, six long and three wide. Uh, do not connect anything in the corners because anything you do put there will escape on the ground. But it is very low. Here we have the uh, second layer with all the meat. Um, kind of gives that a little bit of aesthetics too, maybe for this guy. Um, we'll go ahead and suck all these outside pieces. And put them right there. Oh, okay. Anyway, and put these right back in here. Here's the meat, this is where it's a little confusing. I don't want to see what's going on here. We got one laser and four super ammos around one super fuel uh, floaters and three small jets. I'm a sucker for symmetry. So, um, slide my out for you. And, there we go. It's looking pretty good so far. But, uh, certainly no pink yet. Uh, here we have our torpedoes and, uh, Remainder of the bulk of our tank. I'm going to drop that down there. We have another super fuel. Um, we're going to fit down in the rest symmetrically. Oh, in this you can see here that our laser is pretty much covered on all sides. Not really going to do much damage to it. So we'll go ahead and drop Banjo's seat back down in, the, in our little tank. But, um, it doesn't seem very well protected up there. So, uh, we'll go ahead and bring this on down, and uh, give him some cover, stop that right there, and then put down the windscreen so you can see, leave the top of his head open, but, you know, anything about that is just kind of weird, let's go ahead and take the pistol effect, and here's the hover tank in action, you can see it's, it's relatively fast, and, um, especially on the water, uh, the laser kind of tends to point up when driving in the water, but mm -hmm. it's not really about usability as much as just having fun with the vehicle. As you can see, it kind of wants to drift around a little bit, since you are riding on a pocket of air, there isn't really a whole lot of control, so you do have to slide around your turns, like I'm doing right here. It's noticeably slower on land, but it's still an amphibious vehicle. Amphibious tank. We can drift going. And it lets you go out of control. It's pretty good at that. And yeah, here's its spin. And let's go. So, anyway. Wasn't too difficult. Looks pretty cool. Pretty fun to drive. Uh, I don't want to be careful going over bumps because it is very, very low. So I want to slow it down a little bit. See if we can get up this ramp. Uh, and we did. All right. So there's your tank. Enjoy. Thank you. 